Indrani, shall we start, Indrani? Um, hello. Yeah. Am I am I audible? Yeah. Uh, let me introduce you first, then we will yeah. start the session, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, today we are here. Uh, I'm uh, I'm very delighted uh, here to introduce uh, uh, Miss Indrani here. Uh, there are so many things. Maybe you'll come to know after I read a uh, profile of Indrani. Okay. Uh, uh, let me read out. Uh, uh, she is having around uh, four and a half years of experience in advertising and digital marketing. But uh, she is into uh, advertising and digital marketing, and she is worked with around 50 brands of both national and international repute. And uh, to her credits, at the young age, uh, she is a recipient of various awards. Let me read out all those. I'm very uh, uh, happy to announce uh, the award she has won: uh, Indian Achievers Award for Outstanding Professional Achievement and Contribution in National Building. Uh, under young entrepreneur category and she has listed in women's entrepreneur India's top 10 women driven startups of 2020. She has also got an award high flyers appreciation award for excellence in branding and digital marketing. She's also listed in women's leaders, uh, women business leaders of the year 2021 by women entrepreneur India. Yeah, she is our almanai. Yeah, we are very uh, happy to say that she has. Uh, she is from the batch. Uh, she has completed BBA from our college. She has completed BBA from the batch second batch, uh, that is 2012-15 batch, and she has also completed MBA in media management. And she has been a silver medal holder from Amity University, Uttar Pradesh. Very fortunate to have you. Uh, very delighted to introduce you as well. Yeah, over to you, Indrani. Right, so hi, everybody. I hope I'm audible. Please let me know at any point. If I'm not audible, please stop me and uh, make it a point to um, know. Uh, let me know. So firstly, I'll start with a brief introduction about myself, like uh, Kavita Ma'am introduced. Um, I run an ad agency called um, Berry Ads and Branding. We specialize in digital marketing and uh, branding. Currently, we're working with some of the most reputed brands in India, like Time. I'm sure you've uh, heard of Time, right? The MBA Entrance Coaching um, Institute. We work with um, Time. We work with Medica Metrics, which is a former McKinsey um, uh, head company, which is based out of US, but also has operations in the Europe and Middle East and stuff like that. So we work with some of the most reputable brands in both India as well as abroad. A few uh, years back, before Adani took over Krishna Patnam Port, we were handling Krishna Patnam Port as well. So that is some context, so you'll understand what our operations are. Um, before that, can I request at least one or two of you to sort of turn your cameras on? Because it's a little, I feel a little spaced out, uh, not being able to see anyone. Students, you can turn turn on your uh, videos. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much because otherwise yeah. <laughs> few more students. You can turn on your videos, please. Thank you. Thank you, Vaishnavi. Thank you, Prashant. So, um, that, that's good. So can we uh, go on the work? OK, so um, can we continue? Yes, yes, Indran, continue. Yeah, so um, that's that. So to begin with, I'll tell you something that changed the way I think, and I, I feel like as students, you should know it too. It was, I think, some years back when I just graduated from Bhavan. And was, you know, when you graduate from your uh, BBA or, you know, from your undergraduation course, you're very nice, extremely nice. So when I went, to do my master's, I was pretty sure that I wanted to get into advertising from the go. Like after I completed my 12th, I knew what I wanted to do. So um, once I got there, there were only two options I had. There were just two colleges all over India which were offering media management, like an MBA in media management. And one of that was Amity and the other one was Mudra Institute of 
uh, communication. Now, getting into Mudra Institute is a huge challenge. Now, again, being a woman comes into the picture here because you know how it is in India. You know, to get some work experience is difficult, and Mudra wouldn't give anybody admission if they did not have, let's say, three to four years of work experience behind them, and also score like a really high uh, percentile in CAT or. my cat and and these sort of entrances so then i had to settle with amity so i went to the college with a lot of apprehensions uh, i wasn't sure what uh, you know how recognizable brand amity would be and and yeah like like i'm sure like most of you even i was a lot lot confused when i reached there i think it was my induction and a professor read out to us the first thing that she said in in the introduction was that amity is as good as you make it and that stuck with me and i think till date it stays relevant now why i'm saying this to you is whether you are in bhavans or in amity or it doesn't matter if you're in the best of the college in the world the library is going to be limited the syllabus is going to be the same teachers are going to be doing their best to you know provide you with whatever they can but at the end of the day you have to make the most of whatever you're given and you know succeed now that's where that line sort of stuck with me it says Amity is as good as you make it, and that holds true for Bhavant as well. It's as good as you make it, and I can vouch for it. I had I had studied for three years in Bhavant, and they had done everything that they possibly could to give us exposure outside of our business, up outside of uh, the college. So um, I think that is very important. One thing you can do to sort of get that sort of exposure is get internship. For me, when I was in BBA, I was I was too young. I was very naive to understand. So Uh, I think you would be a lot more receptive when it comes to um, things like this because you're a lot more mature at at this age. You can handle your career in a better way. You can navigate through life better. So when you get projects, you get um, you get scope to go out of your college and learn from there. You should take it with both arms. Do not. I mean, yes, you can always. take a knowledge transfer from a senior and submit their project as yours we we've done all of that we've been there but you know the kind of exposure you get when you sort of go out and work in an office get some real time work and uh, get to know the practicalities of the business it's a lot more different and it will give you an edge not in your mark sheet trust me when i say this if you whether you scored like a Full A plus grade in your project, or you've scored a C or D. Nobody cares. We recruit in, in our agency. We recruit people. I have still date. Neither me nor my HR team has ever gone through what their project grade is. But what it will do for you if you you know you can answer questions better, you can have more real time um, knowledge, and that's gonna set you apart from the uh, rest of the people sitting with you for the interview. So that's one thing I want to sort of contextualize before we move ahead, so you understand where I am coming from. Now, um, now the sequence of how my career really started. I had I had just graduated from um, Amity University. Yes, I got my silver medal and all that, but you know, you realize that when you compare it with the practical experience of getting internships and knowing people and networking, your medals really don't hold too much of value. so i was naive i was very happy about my medal i went to a couple of really big companies to interview and didn't land the job but then eventually i worked on a couple of projects and presented that as my uh, insight to get into a company and i, I that landed in my first job that was in a that was in an advertising agency called associated it's based out of hyderabad but it again works pan india i worked in the agency for a year and a half and that's when you know it's it's important in our field at least in marketing and digital marketing to keep your eyes and ears open for the right opportunity if you want to get into entrepreneurship so i figured out that the traditional agency client model it was it was too in the sense it was too ask for it and you'll get it it was not as responsive it was not digital driven and that's where i thought okay fine this could be the right opportunity and i started up on my own so i started berry as in running in the year 2019 and today we're one of one of the most we're one of the most sought after agencies and a lot of clients sort of come down to work with us in spite of being like a fairly uh, new agency so the kind of business we handle is also massive right so yeah so we i started it in 2019 and 
back then it was just me one designer and one client servicing person today uh, out of hyderabad office with we are nine of us who sit then pre pandemic we also had a wizard office but then we had to sort of shut it down because uh, most of us were working from home now uh, it's been 3 years and we've expanded our team and now everybody is going to be back on at at work so we've we've expanded there again now coming to specifics of what i had to face as a woman see i feel more than more than just about being a woman i think the problem was me being young every time i went to an organization i had to work with i mean i had to work shoulder to shoulder with people who had 20 15 plus years of experience and it really becomes difficult because you know when you actually get this whole by experience and i am so senior dynamic into the business it, it somehow doesn't work out because what you are trying to propose as a sorry hello uh, i think so someone has unmuted and rani it's okay you can continue my yeah so yeah so more than anything else it was it was primarily about uh my age i don't think my gender would be so much of a problem but my age was definitely a problem i remember going to this very very reputable company and i was you know i spoke to them they said yeah everything is nice i like the business i like the pitch i like the prices you quoted but who's going to be heading this i was like i am going to be heading this you know i i i own the company they were like you so i knew it at that moment that you know it, it is going to be an uphill battle it, it sure was i mean the reasons could be very different for different businesses for different people but for me this was a very very big, big challenge uh, this happened to me more than once you know i went to a company and i i sort of pitched what i had they loved the idea but they wanted to know who is going to execute it and for some reason you know me being young it didn't they like you know but do you have enough experience and that's that's when it i thought it be- it becomes very relevant to explain especially when you're working in digital marketing or a digital space for that matter whether you have 10 years of experience or just 10 months of experience it's the same because the technology is changing every single day and if you don't learn you'll just be left back so yeah that's one big big challenge which i still have to face a lot of people when i go for a meeting ask uh, if i'm married or what's my personal uh, life status like which i think is irrelevant i don't think it should be a, a cause of concern so once i was pitching to another company and they asked me if i'm married because you know i, I was like i am not sure if it if, if that's relevant but they said you might have to take a break of another 6 months 9 months whatever I, and that's when i realized they were talking about maternity leave so it's very sad that till day even like even in 2021 22 now right 2022 people have that sort of um, you know mentality i mean me being somebody who leads an agency uh, gets asked such questions i'm not even an employee so i have a, a, a huge team which takes care of my requirements so even if i'm not on on the role for some days i think it's okay but even then i i do um, uh, come across that situation then we can only imagine what happens as you trickle down um, the hierarchy so at very what we've done right now is this this changed the whole narrative um so we have i think we'll be one of the very few agencies or offices in india which offer a which offer like um bring your baby to the office policy so if somebody is just delivered you're more than welcome to have your kid in the office you're more than welcome to work from home for some days so what we are essentially trying to do is is you know give a push in the right direction so people women never have to sort of compromise on their career for biology i think at a very small scale we've done what we can and uh, we sort of expect at least you guys because you all are from mba and you all are studying business i'm sure most of you will have your own startups and so in your own small way to create jobs and to create right sort of job opportunities not you know just come stay go sort of uh, job opportunities so um that is what i wanted to tell you about uh, my journey and and a few obstacles that i faced if you have any questions in particular i'd be more than happy to take them same the is the productivity same level 
is the if it is work from home or if they bring in the babies or whatever no i'll tell you what the product is actually much much better because what happens is see you know it it at the end of the day people get uh, paid and that's their motivation to work correct so when they have to make a choice of leaving the baby home and keep worrying about it all the time they're not even practically present mentally in the office but when we bring we we let them get their child to the office the productivity is a lot more because they feel a sense of gratitude so they understand that the company understands their requirement hence they give the 200% to their job and i think i think we as companies need to change 100% we be working like how we used to work some 20 30 years or maybe 50 years back when primarily women were not uh, you know given the right education so they sat sit back at home and the husbands would take that over and when women still started coming into the industry we didn't accommodate them so yeah to answer your question the productivity is a lot more when you give them that sort of in fact even indira noi the ceo of pepsico she has the same policy too she got her kids to office while she was not the ceo and now that she is the ceo she has made sure that pepsico opens its doors to everybody else in families too so yeah anybody else uh, indrani i have a question yes, yes ma'am uh, see uh, i have seen you uh, uh, when you are in uh, ug i i can see your confidence increased a lot so as a women entrepreneur uh, what are the things points you would like to suggest uh, where they should have because of your experience which will help them if you are looking maybe uh, as an entrepreneur or as a women uh, to make uh, good in career i think first is set your expectations right you know if you want to become the next you know elon musk or whoever please be prepared to work hard as well and i find it really strange when you see i understand as women we we are we do have some limitations for example um when i started off i had my counterparts like people who owned other agencies they would go to kareem nagar drive pay and they would pitch clients from there and and somehow i'd be like but no i, I don't think i can do that but do you know eventually in the process you have to be tough i understand there is security concern take a brother take your father take whoever but go like you know do not i mean if you start treating yourself as not equal then nobody else is going to take the beating work hard and you know put yourself out there it's okay you'll make a fool out of yourself i made i put my foot in my mouth so many times through the process like ma'am said i was not very confident in my bpa i think i was not the most notorious i not one of the most i think i was the most notorious child in my whole class in bba like kavita ma'am had to literally babysit me and be like calm down you have to be more disciplined so that is how i was but in the process when you start up and you have the responsibility of paying salaries to so many people you don't have a choice but to keep going and 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 that's what will make you stronger and and for all the women please don't use it as an excuse like everybody knows that find there are certain areas where we might not be able to perform or be there at the moment like men can but don't make it an excuse there's so many other ways to compensate like for example if you can't travel far away for a few days then that's okay you can always reschedule and still travel but don't just make it an excuse you have to although it is i do understand we are not equal in the sense a woman has to work 20 times harder than a man to you know get there but it is what it is we cannot make it an excuse maybe 10 years down the lane when all this is not there somebody who's going to start their career then will thank us our generation for making it happen but you know you can never use your gender your age your expertise you not knowing something as an excuse i didn't know a lot of things but when you when you have the responsibility of running let's say nine families because you pay all of them it, it it pushes you to sort of go there and you know be tough and learn and and confidence comes with that so that that's that yeah thank you thank you thank you ma'am anybody else um ma'am <clears throat> Mom, I have a question. Uh, like it's it's a little personal. I hope I hope I can ask. Yeah, absolutely. Please go on. 
Oh, uh, mom, what was your per parents' reaction when you said you wanted to, you know, you wanted to set, you wanted to, you know, uh, build a startup, uh, startup of your own? So okay, so I stay with my grandmom and my dad. So yeah, my, my dad was a little petrified because see, like I mentioned, I was not a very disciplined student. I have never been. I have not been a disciplined student in Bhavans. I was not a disciplined student in Amity. So when I came down to my family and I said, you know, I want to start up a business, the reaction was, oh my God, as worse as, as it can get. Uh, eventually, yes, when they saw me like working really, really hard for it, they they came around. But then, oh, it was it was. So I'll tell you, uh, there are two ways to go about it. Um, the first thing is the first. Um, um, decision when you start up a business is whether you want to go to the VCs who can fund your business or you want to self fund your business. Now, this is where my second obstacle was. I did not want to go to VCs. I wanted to fund it by myself because I wanted the entire uh, company to be mine. So that obviously meant I had to, you know, ask my family to cough up a big chunk of money. So I think that. Uh, so I think more than just wastage of money, which was also a concern, I think my family was worried about my confidence. You know, what happens when you start something at very young, naive age and you give it your all and it doesn't work out, it takes a very, very bad toll on me. So, yeah, they were very protective. They didn't allow me initially. But what I did was, I while I had my job, I started um, finishing as an advertising agency. I took up a marketing job for three months. Because there's this rule that if you're working in an advertising agency, you cannot do a side hustle related to advertising. So I shifted to a marketing job so I could just keep my income flow um, active. And then I, on the side, I got hold of some clients and I went to my dad for the first time with some clients. So when I went to him, I didn't just go with a random, I want to start up. I, I said, see, these are the clients I already have. This is when I... Uh, plan to start my operation. This is the premises I want to rent, and this is what my expenditure per month will be, and this is what I'm going to be earning. Yes, there's going to be a deficit, but this is how I plan to sort of um, fill that in. That is when I think my my family turned around and it worked out for me. And even the initial few funds that I thought my family would have to cough up, it didn't work that way. I had to collect my salary, and then because they they wanted me to know the value of it. Once you get into business and you hire a couple of people, they're your responsibility. You cannot not pay them for a month because, you know, they're depending on you. My family wanted me to understand the responsibility part of it. So they left it on me. I had to fund my business. And today, yes, I have a couple of more partners. As we grow, we, you know, uh, bring on board a little more money while, while selling your shares. So, yeah, that's why. Initially, no, very bad reaction. But now they've turned around. So anything else that you guys would like to know in particular about digital marketing industry, because I'm sure a lot of you will take that as your specialization um, as you go ahead. You can you can ask me uh, that as well. So no questions, we done? Nice. Uh, they are first years, maybe because of that, uh, they may not be asking questions right now. No problem, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay so uh, since you're still in your first year, I'll tell you a few um, options that you can explore when you're looking for your first internship or your first, um, your first job. The first thing you have to do is be active on LinkedIn. So Facebook, Instagram is all fine, but you really have to be active on your LinkedIn because that's when you can start building your connections, right? I know it could be really scary. You must be thinking it's too early. It's not. When, you are, when you've crossed your graduation, you stepped into the real professional world and MBA is a, as, as professional as it gets. The problem again is every, every city is like churning out MBAs by the day. So you have to get your edge beyond LinkedIn, create a nice profile for yourself, connect with people who you think would be relevant to your industry, follow people and follow companies on LinkedIn because that is, that's what will set you apart from the rest. It's very important. It will hardly take like 
half an hour of your day but that is something you should totally do be be on linkedin and secondly when you're going for your internships please start following the companies that you want to intern for example if you want to um you want to get into advertising industry then figure out a few mid range um agencies because you know in very huge agencies you don't really get to learn much so you have to be in the right size of agency or an office or a digital marketing company or whatever which is mid size and you get access to a lot of different departments whether it's copywriting or it's it's uh as social media marketing or stuff like that so be in, in one be in touch with one of those people who work there and when it comes to internship please leave a word um uh, in advance because what happens is during the internship period you know a lot of agencies get like 15 20 sort of resumes and then becomes really difficult and then your internships also not very qualitative so please make sure uh, since you've just joined mba and you're new make sure to build a professional network in the long run it's going to be very very useful and uh, take your internship seriously you can intern with uh, marketing firms advertising agencies what whatever uh, works for you but even while you're interning please send a, a resume because you know it it helps us understand where to place you right so um that's that's about how you can go about your internship anything else you would like to know hello indrani hi uh firstly i'm so happy for you and uh, i want to ask which would be the best platform for me to learn digital marketing dharmi see digital marketing unfortunately i have seen a lot of courses that you know offer digital marketing i have seen udemy i have seen hubspot academy and i have done some of those courses back in the day when i was studying and they're all i know where you're coming from they're very theoretical they don't expose you to a single yeah. they don't even teach you a single campaign creation they're just going to tell you this is facebook this will do so and so so yeah. that is actually a bit of a problem but what you can do is you can club one of the courses and you can also at the same time intern so what happens is while you are uh, you are studying you get the theory part of it which i'm sure you can get from any book in your library also bhavan's is a very well stocked library you can get that but what you really want i i'm not sure if too many um, courses offer that but we are anyway launching a a, a student platform shortly i think it will, it will take about 3 uh, months from now we're learning we, we are launching a, a app it's called berry connect it's where you can learn from the real experiences of clients you can understand how to set up um, a facebook business account how to run campaigns so once that's live i'll let you know but before that you can actually learn uh, a hubspot academy course and combine it with the right internship so whatever you are learning you can also practically understand how it is used sure thank you you're welcome bhavani it's actually quite interesting how she wants to uh, learn something out of um, your traditional course because see unfortunately all the universities in india have the curriculum that was followed a long time back and you can't even write a curriculum around digital marketing because it's constantly evolving so yes like dharani is doing you have to go a step out of your comfort zone and make an effort to learn it by yourself and that that lonely you know give you an edge anybody else students anyone else would like to ask a question uh, i think so that's it <laughs> Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Indrani. I am Ashwini. I am also the lecturer, Department of Management Studies. We might not have met. Uh, I mean, yeah. when you might have passed out, I have come here. So it it was really nice meet uh, hearing you, and this is the first time we are meeting. And Lalita, ma'am, was actually instrumental in actually 
making yeah, you right. to actually have a guest lecture here and i thank lalita ma'am as well but it was really nice to hear uh, about your experience and when you are telling about the women thing i also felt somewhere that yes it is that we face every time this is okay. what happens every time and it is there same in all the industries now is what i felt yeah absolutely yeah. and i really uh, see uh, i mean uh, you have come through many obstacles and uh, and you have created a mark of yourself and i really i really appreciate that with your uh, zeal and uh, with your zeal and i i'm really i can say that if i have taught you i would say i'm really proud of you <laughs> but as a mother night i say that yes you are really uh, we are really very proud of you thank you so much for accepting our request and we would be thank surely you. being we'll be surely being associated with you in the future as well as you said there is a student connect uh, program Uh, mm -hmm. our students who would be opting for marketing would like to go ahead and surely connect with you and learn so many things from you as well so you're really a true inspiration as well uh, indrani thank you so hello, much hello indrani that. hello this is hello. dr madhuri madhuri ma'am speaking hi <laughs> madhuri ma'am how are you indrani i'm good ma'am you remember like once i i think it was my first class and you said uh, indrani i think you will have a rocking career in marketing don't give it up <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 congratulations on your uh, uh, becoming an entrepreneur that's great thank you ma'am <laughs> it's wonderful to know that our students are becoming successful i wish you all the best indrani thank you ma'am mm. uh, so i kindly request uh, students uh, to go ahead and please enable your video for just a group photograph and then we can close for session few students can enable madhuri ma'am and all the faculty can also enable your video so that we can just take a group photograph yeah video isn't enabling uh, it is not enabled in mine ashwini oh ma'am okay hmm. okay hey ma'am we'll just take a photograph I haven't students. downloaded the app. That's why maybe. Okay, might be, might be, ma'am. Few students, please, can you enable your video? Few of the students. Okay, thank you. I've already started following you on LinkedIn, ma'am. Hey, you can always be in touch if you need something. You can let me know. See, I'm always open. to help students out uh, i was there once too so anything you need you need some internship please feel free to reach out to me right sure ma'am thank you so much uh thank you so much students uh, thank you so much indrani as well and thank you all the faculty members and thank you so much for giving your valuable time to us and uh, taking this session thank you so much indrani thank, thank you, you. Kavita ma'am thank you